What up, YTPC? It's Harriet Herfer of Herferville. Uh, tonight I'm smoking my Bones Belge pipe. It's got some really, I really like the, the grain right there. If you can see it good enough. It's kind of awesome. As it's coloring up, it's just uh, popping more. And uh, I'm smoking some Carter Hall. Good old Carter Hall. It's just one of those kind of days. So I have a box to open today. And um, it is from, I got my pipe down, Luchasaurus Leo. I knew he was sending me a package, but I don't know what all's in here. I do know a little bit. I know a, I know a little bit about a lot of stuff, but not a lot about little stuff. It's my lot in life. We learn a lot, a lot in life. All right, there we go. Should have opened it before I started the camera. Huh? But I did it. So here we are. Okay. Well, he did send that. Indeed, he did. Corn cob pipe and a button nose. This is 1022.19. So it's one of the newer tens. And I'm kind of curious. Oh, there's a bro note. Sis note from a bro. Oh, it's so cute. Smokes. So he sent me this. I've heard um, it's supposed to be the same blend as before, and I love, I love the older blend. Um, so I'm about to, I can't stand it. I can open it. I'm just gonna open it right now and see, because I don't know whether to buy any or not. If I don't like it, I might love it. Let's see. Well, it's different. It's definitely cut different than the original. So yeah, I just had to get the other 10 so I can do it side by side. This is from 2016. And let's see if I can get it up there for you guys. It has really tiny little, little squares and kind of a cube cut, but it's not really a cube cut because there's it's just flat squares, but you can see there's not very many large pieces in there. So, fast forward to 2019, and not exactly the same, is it? Look at the a huge chunk in there. There's quite a few big chunks, but it does still have. Does it really have some? I mean, there's some. It's not the same cut, which is fine. It could still be the same tobacco, but. I'm not even sure there's a cube in there, but anyway, it's interesting that this is um, from 2016 and it's an aromatic, so therefore some of the flavoring has dissipated and it has, it has a, a stronger smell to it than the new tins. So I'm curious. How this smokes we'll see the one thing that I don't like about the older uh, corn cob pipe and a button nose is I oftentimes draw pieces of tobacco into my mouth while I'm smoking because they're so tiny so we'll see what happens with that but anyway thanks for indulging me in that what do we have here what do we have here oh yes happy otter when there we go. Oni's got his uh, his recipe card here with the recipes that he made. Because he blended that himself. Library of Alexandria. Look at that. He pressed that one. Deer Crossing. Pressed that one as well. What's this one? Hunter's Moon. I just love some of the names he's come up with here. Let's see what we have here. Smells good. Oh, that smells really nice. Stored 
stored with oak. Nice. Happy otter. I mean, otters are so cute. They're probably already always happy. Oh, what is that I'm smelling? That smells really good. Must be the vanilla. But, oh, that smells really good. Deer Crossing. Let's see what we got. Oh, nice. Ooh, that reminds me of an older, like a really old uh, blend that I smoked. That was, oh, what was that blend? It was ancient. It's got the deer tongue in it. Oh, I don't have to open my tin. I wonder if some of that older blend that I'm thinking of had deer tongue in it. Not sure. Now I'm interested to find out. In the Library of Alexandria. What's this got in it? Huh. Yum. Pressed one week. Well, we'll see what that's like. It's got haunted bookshop in it. And that's not my favorite tobacco, so I'm interested to see how that is. I got, what is that? Oh, yeah, box down, box down. Always oh, dropping something. Oh. Oh, are you kidding me? Really? Oh my gosh, it's. Hey, it's really cute. Oh my gosh. Crossley imported. Oh my gosh. Stinger. Oh, look out happy otters because I'm happier than you are. Ooh, look at that. Oh my God. That is the cutest thing ever. He has refurbished this. Oh, wow. And I don't know if he restained this one or not, but uh, nice job. I'm, there's no lingering odor at all. Seriously. Did a really good job on that, Leo. That's awesome. That is awesome. And if it wasn't cold because it was outside, I would smoke it right now with some of this corn cob pipe in it. Look at that. Just look at it. Thank you very much. That is, that is right up my alley. And then, oh, oh I'm glad I looked. Um, look at that. That's awesome. I'm going to put that on one of my, uh, my insulated mugs. Thank you for that too. I appreciate it. What is this? What is this? Oh, there's two of them. Must have to share. Y'all know I don't share very well. Yes, I do. Well, those are nice. Look at that. He's made a couple tampers. Nice scoops on them. Oh, that'd be perfect for snuff as well. Very nice. Nice work. I'll let I'll let uh, Hugh pick that out, the one that he wants, since I opened the box. And then he said he was going to put some pipe socks in, which he did, which is awesome. Because you can't have too many pipe socks. We have um, a number of pipes that don't have socks with them. That's, oh, I like that one, actually. I like the way that feels. Oh, it's got Velcro on it. Well, John hates Velcro, so this one's mine. <laughs> Awesome and awesome. So, you know what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, definitely try some of this corn cob pipe and a button nose. And that's what I'm going to do right now. <clears throat> Just because I'm very curious. I only do like a half a bowl here. Let's see what we got. I'm so curious. different. Oh, 
Oh, it's very different. It doesn't have as much topping on it. Yeah, it's not the same. Um, it's just, there's really not a whole lot of flavoring compared to the, to the older version. Mm -mm. And I'm not saying it's bad tobacco. I almost picked up one of those tampers that you made to, to use. I'm gonna let John pick his out first. Anyway, it's not the same. Did I say John? I meant Jake. Oh, I meant to say Hugh. Sorry. I could see where this be, uh, would be a little, uh, a little tongue bitey. And it's um, it's a good tobacco. But there's not a lot of flavor. Hmm. Yeah, they should have named it something else. If they were going to come out with it, a similar blend, then they should have made it the same. And the cut's different. The tin note is different. And the, the, the smoke flavor is also different. So how is that the same tobacco? The only way it's the same is it looks the same in the tin. Oh, the art of the tin. There it is. They did get that right anyway. Hmm. Yeah, interesting. I don't dislike it, but it isn't the same. Interesting. Come on, Cornell and Deal. Crazy people. Should have named it not so corn cob pipe in a boat nose. <laughs> I've heard a lot of people um, doing reviews and kind of complaining about it being different, but if you're not comparing it, it's it's still good tobacco, so. Well, thank you very much, Leo, for the opportunity to try it. And um, I'm gonna let Hugh try it too when he gets home. And thank you for the uh, the homemade items that is always that is always awesome that's really cool and also I can't wait for this thing to warm up oh my goodness so cute that's just perfect for me that's a great uh, taster pipe to take to um, take to a brick and mortar look how, how short that is let's see where's my I mean, if you know what a bones belge pipe size looks like it's got a tinier bowl very cute Thank you again, Leo. I'm going to put Leo's information in the bucket and um, you guys check him out. He's a nice guy and he has a great channel and really cool stickers. Am I right or what? So thanks for stopping by. I hope you all are having a wonderful week so far. It's just started. so. And um, I guess I will catch you later. It's just smoking taters. Bye.